and I had a little exercise for you. Yes. I had a terrible exercise I thought of. It's an exercise in problematization. Yes. Uh, I like the concept of exercises, and I will show you later. I made books uh, for children and teachers about exercise in, 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 in that works on the specific competencies. This one is exercise in problematization. Now, for Hegel, problematization, he calls <coughs> criticism. So it's exercise in critical thinking. Yes? So I'm going to write you a sentence on the board, and I want you to find one way to criticize it. should respect your neighbor. You should respect your neighbor. I imagine that even though you come from different countries, you have all heard that, <laughs> that injunction. Yes, you should respect your neighbor. So I'm inviting you to, every one of you, give one reason to prove or to show this is wrong. Okay? Uh, today ethics is a big thing, so let's take tackle ethics. Find one reason to criticize that injunction. Does anybody not understand what we have to do? He raises his hand. Who understands? Raise your hand. Okay, so let Did you understand or no? Yeah, I understand. So who understands? Raise your hand. <laughs> okay, no, no, okay. So you have a couple of minutes, fine. If you have different ideas, find different ideas, no problem. But Chitana has, if I don't, you know, give uh, one reason. Uh, and okay. If you have different reasons, write different reasons. Okay? But at least one reason to criticize. You have two minutes. And write it, please. Write it. Okay, so who has finished at least one reason? Raise your hand. <coughs> who has not finished at least one reason? Raise your hand. Okay, and can you wake her up over there? Yes. Hello. Hello. Have you written at least one reason? Yes. Okay, so who has written at least one reason? Raise your hand. Okay, who has not? Raise your hand. Okay, two people, two people, okay. What is your problem? My problem is that I don't see what to criticize about. Okay, for you this is, therefore, for you this is an absolute. Yes. Okay, for you this is an absolute rule. Yes? No limits. You good? An absolute has no limits. You agree with that? An absolute has no limits? No. 
Oh, absolute have limits? Do absolute have limits, yes or no? Yes. Oh, yes. Well, give me an example of an absolute that has a limit. Go ahead. No, not that. An absolute, not that. Because this, this is visibly a one. An absolute yeah, that has a limit. <coughs> Give one. Do you know any absolute? Who? Oh. Do you know any absolute or no? <sighs> you feel stuck. Happy. Do you feel stuck? I feel stuck. Oh, okay. Who can give a form of an absolute to our friend here? Who can give it? Anybody knows a form of an absolute? He might know. And ask somebody, give me an absolute to these people raising their hand. George, give me an absolute. No. Okay, he's got an absolute? Yes. Okay, tell George he's good. Smart. Thank you. No, he's smart. <laughs> well, he's very smart, you see. Oh, you have no smart. idea. Smart. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Now, okay. Are you surprised to discover that God is an absolute? No. Well, then why didn't you say it? When you asked me, I was thinking of mundane things. I wasn't thinking of. You were thinking of what? Things happening around. I wasn't. Thinking of oh, so you forgot about but God? Do you, do you okay, you always forget so easily about God? I don't. You don't? Well, today you forgot about I God. I didn't forget. What did you say it? You say I was thinking about no. Look, okay. Well, did you say I was thinking about things here, right? Things on earth. Okay, so did you forget about God when you think about things on earth? Because God is no, not because. Okay, stop thinking. Okay. Otherwise, you won't think. Okay. When you were thinking about things on earth, had you forgotten about God? No. Oh, so God is part of the things on earth. He's in charge of things. But is he part of it? Yes. Oh, well, then why didn't you say God if he's part of the things here? Are you okay or are you lost? I'm doing okay. Yes, it's wrong with that name. Okay. <laughs> Who has another absolute to propose? Uh, okay. Anybody else? No. Yes? The universe? The universe. Is universe an absolute? No. No. Okay. What's the limits of the universe? Since this is an absolute, what's its limit? What we have of the universe. What is the what limit? Is okay. Is therefore our knowledge, okay? Our knowledge is the limit of the universe? Limited. Okay. How about for God? What's the limit of God? No. Oh yes? You know God perfectly? Do you know God perfectly? Yes. And how, how many people are like you that know God perfectly? <laughs> a lot or very few? Very few. Very few. Okay. In fact, is there more than one? Yes. Uh, how many? Uncountable. Roughly. Oh, it's a lot then. Yes. Well, like what? Hundred? Ten? One million? Soon, soon, soon. Oh, so most people know God perfectly. <laughs> yes. Well, how come they know God perfectly, but they don't know the universe perfectly? Let me give you an example. No, I don't want an example. Try to really to stick to there. How come those people know God perfectly? What is harder to know? God or the universe? Is. What is harder to know? God or the universe? The universe. Yes. So therefore the absolute is easier to know than what is not absolute. Is that it? 
the creator is in now, that try to answer animal. my question. Try. Can you answer my question? If you don't want to answer my question, just okay. tell me I won't answer your question. I don't want to, to chase you. You want to answer my question or not? Okay, so it's, it's easier to know the absolute than to know what is not absolute. Is that the case? Yes. Okay, good. And if I ask people around if that makes sense, they'll say yes or no. If I ask people around if that makes sense to them, they say yes, it makes sense to us, or they say no, it makes no sense for us. I wouldn't know what it is. You don't know. You don't, free, you don't see human beings. Do you meet human beings or no? Yes. Do you know a little bit how they think? Or no? They think more try, try, okay, uh, try to answer my question. Do I know how they think? Yeah, do you know human beings a bit how they think? Or you have no clue? I can be too sure. I'm, I'm asking if you're sure. I'm, do you know a little bit how they think? Yes. Okay, so will they be surprised if you tell them, do you think they think the absolute is easier to know or harder to know than what is not the absolute? I think they will have my feeling too. You're not answering me. Will they think it's easier to know no, the absolute or no, harder? It's easier. Okay, let's check. Who thinks it's easier to know the absolute to raise your hand? How many hands are up? No. Who think it's hard? Oh, one. Sorry, I didn't see it. Who think it's harder to know the absolute? To raise your hand. Okay, look around. So, do you think like most people, if they represent, or differently? Did you count the hands? Don't think. Count. So, do you think like most people, or differently? Most people. Yes. Do you know how to count? Yes. How many people raise their hands just think I think like you? Maybe. One. What do you mean maybe? Just Can one. you? No, one. No, okay. Yeah. So were there more people thinking like you or not thinking like you? More, not thinking like you. Okay. So, does that surprise you or not? Surprising. Surprising. Yes. So you didn't know this? No. You didn't know you were special? Yes. You knew it? Oh, okay. So, you're not surprised people don't think like you. Okay? Good. Now, so anyway, so the absolute is easier to know, yes? Okay. Do you know the limits of the universe? One limit to no. the universe? Well, you said one earlier, do you remember? Or is the universe an absolute now? Okay. Do you have a hard time with my questions? None. If I ask people, they have a hard time. They'll say yes or no. No. They'll say no. Okay. Who think Oki has no hard time with my questions? Raise your hand. How many hands are up? No. Who think Oki has a hard time with my questions? Raise your hand. Count the hands. Okay. Put your hand up. So, do people think you have a hard time or no hard time? They think I'm having a hard time. But you think you have no hard time? Yes. Nice, no? Do you teach? Yeah, you teach, right? So, do you have sometimes students say, uh, Teacher, I know this very well. And you say, No, you don't know this very well. Do you meet this sometimes? No. Never. Your students know exactly what they know and don't know. So you have good students, yes? yes. They, they always know, yes? So if I ask other teachers here, do they have the same kind of students as you? They'll say yes or no? No. no. So you, not only you are special, but your students are special. You follow? I do. So your students are special too. And it's normal. A special teacher makes special students. Right? Yes. Is that it? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Now, who can tell me what's going on with my friend? Oh, who has an idea? What's going on? Mike, your job. What's going on here? 
He's confused. Okay. Is that true? You're confused? No. No. So your brother doesn't know you. Yes? yes. But your students know you. Yes. Okay. So your students are better than your brother. No problem. Okay. So thank you for the demonstration. So are you okay? You want to make a comment? Or it's okay? Did you like our discussion? It's good. I like it. Go ahead. Well, the exercise is good, but in terms of absolute God and the universe. No, no. Speak about our discussion, not about God and the universe. Yes, about our discussion. That was, those are the examples. Did you uh, like our discussion? Yes. Why? Because it was straight. It was straight. Okay, thanks. Who still? Did you, who did not, who did not uh, have a, a criticism? I, I you have now? Okay. Thanks to Oki? No, before. <laughs> before. Okay. So now we're going to do, we're going to listen to the criticism of that. And the job is this. I want you to pick up one criticism and identify the paradigm from which this criticism comes. The the the, the the scheme from which it comes. The, the, you know, where does that person come from when he criticizes? For example, say, somebody says, don't eat too much. And somebody says, I like, you know, I like to eat. He said, you know, I don't agree, I like to eat. The paradigm, <coughs> because I like food, he's a hedonist, he just wants pleasure, something like that, you know? So, where does that person come from? Well, you pick one, you will hear you can identify the paradigm. We good? Okay, so now it's like in the consultation. You have someone produce an idea to criticize, so we know where does that criticism come from? Okay? So, 